The methods of solving systems of equations that we've seen so far work pretty well when our solutions are pairs of small integers. Graphing on the calculator also works pretty well, as long as we're okay with having decimal approximations of our exact solution. But let's take a look at the following system. Suppose we have y equals 4 thirds x plus 1 and x plus y equals 2. If we set out to solve this by graphing, we'll get a graph that looks something like this. x plus y equals 2 as its x and y intercepts both at 2. y equals 4 thirds x plus 1 as y intercept 1 and slope over 3 up 4. Our lines intersect at this point here. We might guess that that's something like x equals a half, y equals one and a half. That looks kind of like where it might be in our picture. And a half plus one and a half does equal two. But four thirds times a half plus one is one and two thirds not one and a half. So that's not our solution. We could do this on the calculator. Solve the second equation for y. y equals 2 minus x by subtracting x from both sides. So I'll enter 4 thirds x plus 1, and I'll enter 2 minus x. I know from my hand-drawn graph that, you know, my solution is somewhere between x is 0 and x is 1. Zoom fit. And now I want calc intersect first line, second line, and it looks like I'm pretty close to where they cross already. Look at those decimals that I got for x and y. I might guess that those are repeating decimals. Um, pretty long repeating pattern though. I mean the only digit I see repeat in my x is this 4. This next digit could have been the 2 after rounding up. So 0 0.428571 all repeating. My y is 1.571428, all repeating. That's just a guess based on the decimals that I see. But those decimals are pretty unpleasant. Right. Maybe I can convert them to a fraction. 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. repeating it for at least 12 digits. We can 
convert those to fractions and see if that really worked. So, 11 sevenths, does it equal 4 thirds times 3 sevenths plus 1? 4 thirds times 3 sevenths plus 1, make it a fraction. Oh, yeah. That works. And then 3 sevenths plus 11 sevenths. Yeah, that's going to be 14 sevenths, which is 2. Okay. So with the calculator, we could actually work out the exact answer, but we had to guess. If we had a decimal that took any longer than that to repeat, we wouldn't have had enough information to be able to work out the exact answer. How could we find this out without having to do that sort of guessing? The answer is that we need some algebraic method. That is, we need a method of solving the system that doesn't require looking at a picture, doesn't require having the calculator look at a picture for us. We need a method for solving the system where we actually do the algebra and we actually get an exact answer.